Hi, my name is Ioannis Dizul. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply a background soundtrack into your Construct 3 video game and how to basically control the sound. For this project, I'm just going to create a new project. Uh, I'm just going to call this project uh, My School Soundtrack. Now, I'm just going to click Create. If you don't know how to create soundtracks, I'm just going to put a link on my previous video tutorial on how to create sound soundtracks. So complete the, vi the previous video tutorial in order to uh, have your own soundtrack so you can actually follow along on this video tutorial if you not already have uh, your soundtrack. So I'm just going to create here, I'm going to right click and insert a new object. And for this object, I'm going to scroll down and select audio. And I'm just going to call this my sounds. My sounds. And click insert. Oops. Select audio, insert. Okay, so I've got an audio player here, my sounds. Now what I need to do, I need to basically scroll further down, find the sounds folder, right click and select import sounds. So I'm going to select import. And I'm just going to select the sound that I just created on the previous video tutorial. Okay, the true grid code main menu. And uh, select import. Okay. So now my soundtrack is there. So what I will need to do is go to uh, my uh, event seed, double click to open it. And I'm just going to add a new event. I'm going to select a system event. And I'm going to start typing here on start of layout. So if you start typing on ST, on start of layout, double click that. I want something to happen. So the action is what I want to happen. I want to play sound. And I'm going to play the sound. I'm just double clicking here. And automatically, because I only have one soundtrack here, it's picking up the soundtrack that's just import, the true grid got main menu. If the soundtrack is too loud, you want to reduce it, this is how you're going to do it. So I'm just going to put here 05, so minus 5. And I'm just going to click done. So on start of layout, so if I press play, yeah, try again. Okay. Let's see, I pull pop ups here. Okay, so what I will need to do now, I will need to go to the layout one and I'm just going to add insert a button. So I'm just going to click right click, insert a new button. Where's the button there? And I'm just going to call this button uh, stop, um, stop sounds. BTN stop sounds. Click insert and click here once. I'm just going to change the wording from OK to uh, stop uh, background sounds. I'm just going to increase the width there. I'm just going to put this there. Yeah. So when somebody clicks on this button, I want the sounds basically to stop playing. So I'm going to go to the event seat. I'm going to add a new event. It's going to be a button event. And on clicked, double click on clicked. So when somebody clicks on this button, I want something to happen. So the action is sounds. And I will say stop all. Double click that. So I'm stopping all sounds. So if I press play here, the music plays. If I click here, all sound stops. If I want to bring the sounds back up, what I can do, I can add another button. Right click, insert, another button. I'm just going to call here this button BTN play uh, background sounds. And I'm just going to pull this there. Uh, 
and I'm just gonna call this instead of OK. Oops. Play background sounds. So now I'm gonna go to the event seat. I'm gonna add a new event. It's gonna be the BTN play background sounds. Double click that and then on clicked. I want the action to be sound action and to basically play. I'm gonna double click here, play, and then I'm specifying which sounds I want to play. So I'm just gonna play the soundtrack. So if I press play, if I click on this button, the soundtrack stops. If I press here, the soundtrack plays. Okay. Right, okay. So what if I would like to see, not to see this button, once I press this, when the sound plays, I want to actually see uh, uh, the stop sound button. And when the sound is not playing, I want to only see the play button. Okay. So in order for you to do this, let's put this there. To start with, okay, let's put this above. We're going to put them above each other. Let's select the background there. Okay. You can go through the properties to change the, the size and the position. So 211 and times 28. Zero position zero zero. So T eleven. So I've got two eleven. The size two eleven twenty eight. Two eleven. Twenty eight. So I've got exactly the same size now. And I'm just going to change the position zero zero. I'm going to change the position of that one to zero comma zero and this will place basically it's both buttons above one another all right so the first thing i want to do is i don't want to see the play button as the first thing because the sound already plays okay so what i will need to do i'm going to right click on the play button i'm going to select z order i'm going to select uh send to the bottom layer so now I can actually see the stop background. So if I click here, okay, I can press that, okay. But now I need to make sure that this is, is gone. So I can actually press the play button, play the sounds. So, okay, I've done this now. I need to go to the event seat. So when somebody clicks on the stop button, I want to stop all the sounds. And also what I want is I want the stop button to hide. So I'm just going to set the visibility, set the visibility to invisible and click done. Okay. Then also I want to set the play button to visible. So I'm going to add another action. I'm going to double click on the play button, play background, and I'm going to set the visibility set. Oops set visible to visible okay and i'm going to do the same thing vice versa for the play button play the background sounds so i'm going to make the play background to invisible so set the visibility to invisible and i'm going to make the stop soundtrack to visible Hope I have not confused you. Okay, so the simple terms is when somebody clicks on the stop sound all sounds button, the stop all sounds button will be invisible and the play all sounds button will be visible. Then also the stops all sounds will action will take place, so there's no there will be no sounds. When somebody clicks on the play button, play the background sounds, the background soundtrack will start playing the current button the btn play button will be invisible and then the btn stop all sounds will be visible again so let's try this so 
so the soundtrack plays I've got the stop background sounds if I click here I've got I cannot hear any sounds but also I cannot see the stop play sounds now I can see the play background sounds so I can click here so because I click on this button now the stop background sounds is visible so because you change the visibility to invisible and visible you have the opportunity to have basically this effect where the sound goes off the sound goes off i hope you learned something new today i hope you apply these new skills into your video game thank you very much for watching bye